All eight harvesters attended this year's 2019 Landscapes Conference in Louisville, Kentucky. We had a great time and learned so much. The harvesters delivered six talks, workshops, and panel discussions and facilitated 16 Breakfast of Champion topics. We also did our annual turnaround tour reveal with this year's participants from our third season. We met with many familiar friends of ours and got to meet many new folks as well. We also introduced our newest head harvester team member, Judd Griggs. Now listen in on some of the people we had a chance to talk with. Hi, this is Head Harvester Ed LaFlan. We're at Landscapes 19 in the ballroom at the hotel. There was, oh, some, almost a thousand landscapers here, and we had table topics. Every, every table has a separate topic, okay? And our topic this morning was, how do you make amazing profits? And we have our, our guest with us who was at my table this morning. Do you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Joel Sullivan. I'm uh, representing Sullivan's Landscaping. Um, we're a small company out of Milford, Delaware. Um, so this is our first breakfast of champions. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. What yeah. did you think? Uh, it was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome? Pretty awesome. I mean, um, to come out and uh, to see the gathering here, wow. People, I mean, it's pretty intense. Getting in here, getting to your table, um, yep. you know, and just, just being able to have a one-on-one -on -one kind of, you know, dialogue back and forth was pretty special and unique. You get to come out here and you see everybody do a presentation or speak, but you don't really get to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. pretty unique. With non-competitors right, too. Right. Yeah, so I, I took my list of notes, huh? <laughs> because uh -oh. it's all about what you learned this morning. Yeah. What did you pick up this morning and see if it compares to my list? Well, I think it was pretty important across the table. Everybody at the table was, okay. you know, learning about gross margin, okay. you know? What are your gross margins? What is it, you know? And um, just being able, you know, for us, looking at our software, okay. you know, and, and, and how readily available is, is, you know, are those numbers to you? Could, could your existing software, will it give you gross margin by the crew by day? No, no well, not even okay. close. Okay. And everything we have to do is, you know, manual. So it just takes I, so much time. Are you considering any softwares that you know might help you accomplish yeah, that? Yeah, we're, we're really looking into Boss LM. Okay. Um, it, it seems like it can give us all the information pretty much instantaneously and we can track it by department and by day, by yeah, crew. Yeah, yeah. How many so, people work for the company? Right now it's about 67. Wow, you need it because it, to do that manually you must be going crazy. It's 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 so time consuming. Okay. Yeah. So so the one is measuring everything and measure the gross margin. What, what anything else that you picked up main points? Uh, I, I really like the discussion on the incentives. Okay. You know, everything is about people and and getting the most out of you know everybody getting everybody right. bought into you know the same goal here sure so some of the simplistic incentive ideas you know whether you know it was just budgeting like putting a dollar value per hour saving you know it, that was that was pretty you know pretty simple way to get to motivate you know everybody on the cruise so i thought that was pretty special unfortunately we don't have time to, to yeah. share all the ways but we had some really good ones uh three or four different methods of of sharing uh incentive plans and mm -hmm. bonuses for the companies um, what did you think about the idea of, of enhancement sales? Well, it, was a, it, was, it was a big topic, so I, I, it's it's critical to get to get our numbers up to where they need to be at. Okay. Uh, and and being able to actually you know have a goal and benchmark of what your enhancement percentages should be, I think it's really really important. And, now, what uh, did you mean by that? So the the knowing you know say knowing what your your um, contract base contract number is. Yep. And knowing what you should be, you know, what's your goal of enhancement sales in addition to that? Uh, what about the gross margin on those sales? Uh, it should be a lot higher. Yeah. You know, and, and even at our table, we, you know, we've seen not everybody knew that, you know, and that, that could really, that really trickles down to your bottom line, you know. Isn't that amazing? It even is. though some of the owners, they've been in business for years and years doing millions of dollars, right. they don't charge more money for enhancements than they can. Right. That'll increase your net profit easily cover this whole convention, won't it? Yeah, Okay, absolutely. so we got, we're, we're agreement. So we got gross margin incentives, uh, enhancement sales, and I've got one more. Uh, you agree with this one? Yeah, pretty much non-billable hours, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, it's and, and daily operations, dispatch, um, fueling up at night, you know, all the lost, you know, money 
that that really you know that, that that's going out the window. That's that that you're not recovering from the job. Yeah, yeah. Just so, eating into just eating into the profits. profits. Yeah. yeah, and you do that by gas jockeys yeah. and having everybody do instead of ha having the men do the work. It's time and a half. Have specialty people do it. Maybe right. at night, right? Absolutely. All that prep at night is just that's just fantastic. Yep. So that's so fantastic. You got a lot out of this. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You got all except the one. Yeah. Very good, Joel. <laughs> <All> <laughs> good right. job. All right. All right, and thank you so much. For Absolutely. For, for be participating in our video this morning. Absolutely. And we'd like to thank everybody who's, who's watching. I think you can get a lot out of this main points to help you make amazing profits. But hey, guess what, Joel? If they don't come next year, they'll never be able to do this, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> They're gonna have to come next year to the Breakfast of Champions Leadership 2020. We're right here in Louisville, Kentucky. So this is Head Arbiter Ed Laflamme signing off, and we have a, a Joel. Joel from Selvins Landscaping. There you go. Appreciate and, it. Yep, and we, we've had a really good idea. So let's get together in a huddle. Let's talk right. about more details right. on how we can put this together. Sounds huh? great.